Are you an actor who feels like you're going effing crazy? <sighs> Welcome to the club. Here are some things that I do to stay sane as an actor in Los Angeles. Number one, have flexible routines. So when you're an actor, when you're a freelancer, when you're a model, all of the things are day to days are so different. I like business girlies that it's just like their Monday through Friday is like a very similar and a set schedule and they have their little morning routines and their night routines. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> love. But my life is just not like that. Friend, even when I make plans, a lot of the time they fall through, which is life, but especially in this business, having loose little routines or loose little things that can make you feel really good that you can do daily or a couple times a week. For example, example, I like to do some sort of movement in the morning. So sometimes that's literally a three mile run and a gym session and I'm popping off. And sometimes that's a five minute little stretch because I have to run to set at 4 a.m. Especially in the morning, at least try to take a few deep breaths for like 60 seconds. Like really try not to just roll out of bed and like grind, grind, grind. If you cannot do that, try not to do that. Have little routines, but make them flexible because your life's effing crazy. Two, have your people that always bring you back down to earth when you start effing spiraling. <laughs> if you don't have those people, you have me, but you also have yourself, you know? I don't know. For me, my parents, I feel like always really help me when I start getting all weird or just overwhelmed. I can start spiraling, yes, about acting, but also just about being an adult and like all of the things. And I feel like every time I talk with like my mom or my dad, it's just very much like, oh, life audit. So I think for me, a lot of the times I am go, go, going, and then I have like a day off or something or like a slower day and I really start thinking and then I really get up in my head about all of the things I'm doing and I'm reevaluating my life. And I'm like, Sophie, you should have a business. You should self tape six different self tapes right now just for fun because you're an effing actor. And if you're not working hard and grinding, the next person is, which also like, Yes, but a lot of the time when I'm getting on my own butt, like you're not doing anything like da da da. When I do a life audit and I really zoom out and look at my long term goals, usually I find that like, oh, wow, I actually am doing all of the small things every day that are moving the needle closer to my ultimate goals. Because especially in a career field of being an actor, it's there's no clear path there. And so I am doing all of the things that I know to do and putting in the work in the areas that I can control. And that's all I really can do. And usually when I zoom out and look at it in that perspective, like, oh, so if you're actually doing and achieving all of your financial goals and you're right on the right path. Oh, you're actually doing everything that you can control in your acting career right now. We just zoom out and get so out of our heads and we look at like the bigger picture. I may have missed that audition for that event, but that night I actually had a really, really great conversation with my friend that enriched me as a person. So of your life as like a big picture as opposed to just focusing only on your career a lot of the time things can really come into perspective shock your system i think as actors a lot of the time we can get in our own little zone in our own little bubble and just kind of do our actory thing take our actory classes talk to those people immediately in our circle and forget that there's like a whole world out there i feel like doing something new doing something that's a little different for you is a great way to like shock your system and really make you present and i think as actors we can sometimes avoid doing that because we just get so in our creative zone so just make sure you're getting out there when the the creative stuff you're auditioning you're doing all of the things you're chatting with your inner circle Goal, but also make sure you're kind of going out there meeting new people you know shocking your system a bit it keeps you mentally sane number four have hobbies outside of acting we've all met those actors where acting is their whole life like that guy of acting have things that you literally do just for fun and if you don't have any maybe start one you'll be surprised like what comes up from that if you know me, I was a competitive dancer growing up, but I hurt my back when I was 16 and I stopped. But recently I've been dancing again. And y'all, I just, I truly feel like it's just given me a freedom in life, which is definitely translating to my acting. And it's not something that I've been like recording or posting anywhere or like all of the things. Like it's legitimately just something I'm doing because it like fills my soul up and like makes me feel good. And I think just having creative hobbies like that, that just 
are fun for you and it's a way for you to express yourself without feeling performative because we all love acting so much, expressing myself through acting, but sometimes there can be a little bit of pressure attached to it. So it's fun to have a creative hobby that performance pressure attached to, you know, it's just for you. Dancing or music or all of the things, especially if you're in a big city like LA or whatever, there's no excuse not to do these things. There's so many like free events in like LA and in big cities that you can find like free dance classes and like free art classes and all of the things. And I think just doing something like that, again, it can kind of shock your system and keep you creative and keep you spunky. Five, this one sounds like common sense, but sometimes we forget. Make sure you're eating well, make sure you're drinking water and make sure you're working out. I'm not gonna say you need to follow this diet or da, 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 eat in a way that makes you feel good. Drink half your body weight in fluid ounces of water every day and work out in a way that feels good for you. If that's literally just walking, walk. If that's playing pickleball, play pickleball. Just do something to keep yourself active and to keep yourself moving. Again, you're your vessel as an actor and you want to be the best version of yourself. You wanna be healthy and all of the things. So back to the basics. Six, reminding myself that I can only control so much in this business because we can get really, really overwhelmed with all of the things because it truly is one of those businesses. It's a fact, you can always be doing something to move the needle further in your acting career. You have to decide that I'm a human being before I'm an actor and human beings need rest and they need to not be on all of the time. So I'm gonna have to kill that actor brain for a minute and I'm just gonna have to be an effing human being for a second. I, I'm doing what I know to do and I'm following the path that I know to follow in this business and I'm doing the things that I know to do and that's enough. So seven, reminding myself that I do this because I love it. I recently had this thought with myself where I was like, Sophie, if you never got paid for acting, would you still do it? And the answer is yes. Like acting sets my soul on fire. And I do this because I love it. Because from the time when I was like three years old, I loved playing with dolls and I loved pretending. And I feel alive when I'm telling a story through playing a different character. And that's why I do this. And so when things get hard, I come back to that. Like, why do I do this? I do this because it's what sets my soul on fire and it's what I was made to do. That just got really deep. It's a practical for eight. Keep some sort of like to-do list, calendar, whatever. Again, I know it might sound obvious. If if you're keeping your whole to-do list inside of your brain, that is taking up so much effing brain space. You need to get that stuff down so that way you don't have to think about it, you don't have to focus on it, and you can focus on the things that really matter. So you can focus on like your acting stuff and your lines and like all of that. You don't need to be thinking about what you have to do tomorrow or what days you work. Like just write that stuff down and organize it. Put your auditions, auditions in there, etc. Make sure it's really easy to edit because things are gonna come up last minute and you're gonna constantly, I am literally every week I go into it thinking I have this set plan and it is always changing. Because again, that's life and especially this business. So just be flexible, be open to that. I feel tired and sweaty, so I'm gonna end the video now.